In this film, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B4 air suspension module on the front axle of the Mercedes-Benz GLE 166. Please be sure to follow the instructions shown in the film. Always replace air suspension modules pairwise. It is imperative to follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions, e.g., regarding the replacement of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the required tightening torques. When replacing air suspension modules, always use the vehicle manufacturer's tools and equipment. Air suspension modules are left and right-hand parts. Check for proper orientation prior to installation. Take the air suspension model out of its packaging and check prior to installation. Please refer to the provided installation instructions and check the expiration date. Measure the length of the Bilstein air suspension module and check against the minimum length specified in the installation instructions. Prior to the removal of the air suspension module, vehicle height is measured and recorded from the wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the mudguard. Attention, this is possible only with the air suspension module intact. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Thoroughly check all suspension components for possible defects. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Completely bleed the air suspension module with the help of the diagnostic device. Switch off the ignition. Always pull the ignition key before working on the air suspension module. Remove the wheels. Disassemble the front part of the wheel well fairing. Disconnect the plug connectors of the electric cables of the air suspension module and remove them from the retainers. Check the cables and connectors for possible defects. Remove the brake hose from the retainers. Disassemble the coupling bar from the steering hub axle. Secure the wheel bearing properly and disassemble the tie rod. Disassemble the steering stub axle on the upper transverse control arm. Disassemble the drive shaft on the gear side to give the wheel bearing more swiveling range. Remove the lower fixing bolt of the air suspension module. Swivel the wheel bearing downward and lift the air suspension module above the lower transverse control arm. Make sure that neither the brake hose nor the electronic cables are damaged in the process. Then secure the steering stub axle back to the upper transverse control arm. Remove the fairings, if any, above the air suspension module inside the engine compartment. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Clean the pressure line connection at the top of the air suspension module. Loosen the pressure line carefully until you hear the sound of escaping air and wait until the system is completely depressurized. Then, remove the pressure line fully and seal it. Be sure not to bend, twist, or squeeze the pressure line. Properly secure the air suspension module from falling out and only then loosen the upper fastener. The air suspension module can now be removed. Change the ADS cable from the old module to the new one before you install the new air suspension module. Fit the cable retainer of the old air suspension module to the new module. Inspect the ADS cable for possible defects and replace as necessary. Replace all seals, bolts, and plugs 
under the fairing with the replacement parts that come with the new ADS cable. The new air suspension module is installed in reverse order of its removal. Attention! Do not tighten the articulated suspension relevant screw connections on the bearings before roadworthiness is restored, K0 position. Remove the safety label immediately prior to installation. Fit the new air suspension module and insert the upper fastening screws following the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Loosen the locking screw on the pressure line connection of the air suspension module and remove it carefully. Remove the centrally inserted retainer of the cutting ring. Place the locking screw and the cutting ring on the vehicle's pressure line, paying attention to the correct alignment of the cutting ring. Mount the pressure line on the air suspension module. During installation, be sure to apply the torque specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Be sure not to bend, twist, or squeeze the pressure line. Secure the wheel bearing properly. Remove the steering stub axle from the upper transverse control bar and swivel the wheel bearing downward. Lift the air suspension module above the lower transverse control arm. Mount the drive shaft. Then secure the steering stub axle to the upper transverse control arm. Fit the lower fixing bolt of the air suspension module. Mount the tie rod. Fit the coupling bar to the steering stub axle. Tighten all screw connections as per the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Fasten the lower retainer of the air suspension module hand tight. Fix the brake hose to the corresponding brackets. Attach the connectors of the electronic cables and fix the supply lines to the corresponding retainers. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with the air suspension depressurized. Mount the wheel well fairing. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Fill the air suspension module via the diagnostic device according to the vehicle manufacturer's specifications. Check the pressure line connection for leakage. The leak tightness of the entire system must be guaranteed. Attach the wheels properly. Lower the vehicle down until the wheels touch the ground and start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle with the engine running to the previously measured level or to the series standard height. Activate the vehicle's lifting mode. Wait until the vehicle lifts up from the lifting platform by itself. Do not lower the lifting platform completely before this point. Fit the fairings, if any, inside the engine compartment. Do not tighten the screw connections of the bearings before roadworthiness is restored, K0 position. Follow the specifications and torque values given by the manufacturer. Always perform an axle alignment after working on suspension parts.